Dave here from Alternative Propulsion. Uh, we've been getting a lot of, of requests on our new product saying that's a neat looking product uh, with the, the clear top and the bubbler attached and built into the system. But uh, what's in there? What's it all about? So what I thought I would do before I assembled one, when I had all the pieces ready, I thought I'd take a video of how the thing goes together and show everyone what the components look like that are inside it. So uh, to give you a better idea of, of what we've got in mind here, what we're designing it for. Our objective here was to build a, a self-contained unit that had the bubbler incorporated into the uh, system and uh, could be a, sold at a price range where it would compete with the, the, the ones with the wire wrapped around in a glass jar, but be a lot safer, a lot better engineered, and a lot more quality product. So uh, with a lot of effort, we've come up with what we feel is, is a very competitive product in that price range and in that market. So uh, I'd like to uh, show you what it looks like, how it's put together. Uh, the first very most important part of the thing would be the core. Okay, now, As you can see, it's not a piece of wire wrapped around a piece of plastic. It's designed to be a series cell arrangement where instead of one series of, or one set of wires twisted around inside a cell and all of the current, the 14 volts from your automotive system passing through it in one uh, cell and producing a lot of heat and a lot of wasted energy. Uh, it's it's well-known technology that everything over 1.24 volts across a uh, uh, electrolysis cell is wasted energy. So what we've done here is try to reduce the, the wasted energy that's generally wasted as heat down to uh, what's a workable uh, amount at a, at a reasonable cost. And what we're basically looking at here is we've got two arrays of five cells each. Each one of these individual spaces between here that I'm pointing at, that's a separate cell. Current passes through the water between those two plates and generates hydrogen at each specific place here. Now I've got two sets of five, okay, and this is our positive in the middle and at both ends we have a ground terminal. So what actually happens is current flows this way and flows this way. So we're actually looking at two, two series arrays uh, put together and uh, generating a lot of hydrogen in a small space, okay, and, and very efficiently. These cells will run for hours. Uh, you, you have a single cell running on 12 to 14 volts, uh, 15, 20 minutes. I've tried to build some of those bifiler uh, cells, and I find it in 20 minutes I'm boiling the water, and I, I got to know that most of those systems are doing the very same thing. But uh, this, this cell will run for hours and, and run cool enough to, to be uh, serviceable and dependable. But as you can see, this is the way our core is built. It's all stainless steel, except of course for the nylon core, but uh, we've designed it with a great bit of thought for space and for uh, potential for hydrogen generation at the same time. But anyway, this is our core. This is the heart of the system. Okay, And the way it goes together, it actually gets assembled into the actual core housing, okay, which is the bottom half of the thing when it's completed. As you can see, there's a series of holes drilled to match up with the three different terminals in the core, okay, and into each one of those terminals is threaded one of the one of the terminal studs, okay. You know they thread right into there, as you can see. I'll screw it right in there and let you have a look at it there. But each one of those goes in, and those three of those go in, one into each particular connector here, okay. And if you can see, those will go through these holes in the housing. Okay, now protrude through. Okay, now inside the housing, there's a insert that holds it centered in the unit. It's very sturdy, as you can see, very well, very stable configuration. And on the inside of that, for each one of the terminals, is placed a rubber grommet on the inside. Okay, now these rubber grommets are a nice tight fit on the inside. So as you can see, now we've got a rubber grommet placed inside there. A little hard to get a good shot at. There we go. There's a good shot at it. Okay, as you can see, the rubber grommet inside the terminal. 
Okay, now that goes on the inside of the housing. Now on the outside of the housing, we have a tapered grommet. Now that threads, and I actually run a, a quarter twenty tap through these things so that they'll actually thread onto this and tighten down solid against the housing right there. Okay, as you can see, each one of those goes into a into a taper, and it's it's tightened right down in there. Okay, so that they seal real well. Now this is threaded on the inside so that it seals against the thread. Then flat washer goes on, lock washer of course, and a nut. Okay, then when we put the, the, the whole component together and tighten it down inside there, as you can imagine, it's stable inside here. Nice and tight, quarter inch studs holding it in place all the way around. Okay, and it will be mounted then, if you can picture it, Mount it right inside here. It drops, drops right down inside here. Okay, the core goes inside here and mounted out through there. So when, when that part's assembled, we'll have this housing, which I'm not going to put it together now because it's it's quite a maneuver to get it all together. But uh, we can do it. Trust us, we can get it together. Okay, so then that drops in there. That becomes the core. Okay, then of course the whole thing sits down in the base piece like that. Okay, so you can see now we've got a base on it, okay, and it sets in there, and if you can picture the the studs protruding through the, the core here, the stud then will be sticking through here, okay, and of course there's not, and then a wing nut on top to, to tie it together. Uh, the way it's wired in the middle, out to both negatives, okay, and we have a wire strap that loops between here and here, okay, but that then basically is the core and, and, and the, the base of the unit. This is the actual production cell. Okay, then what we do from here is the next piece that goes together is what well, I feel is a little bit of, a, of an ingenious arrangement here. We've got, we start with a, a piece of uh, PVC that we've cut to fit exactly over the top of here. Okay, it's, it's exactly a fit over the top of the pipe. Okay. Now, it also is a perfect fit inside of the, the coupling bushing, okay? It drops right inside the coupling bushing, so if you get an idea how that goes together. Now, what we've actually got here is we start with an insert piece that goes through this, okay? We're going to push that right through there like that, okay? See? So now we've got 